There's so much snow on the roof right now. By far the most that I've ever had on this roof. It's really weighing down the canvas. There's been so much snow for this time of year. Normally I would, when I make my first trip out here on snowmobile, there's not near this much snow on top.
it's not so cold out today. So one of the benefits is I can really take my time and do the fire the way I want to do it. I just wanted to go into the woods, be out in the snow, gather some uh, dead wood that was just ready to go in the fire, grab some old birch. It really is just a nice way to start my day. Going through the motions. It is really nice to be here right now. It's not too cold. There is a mountain of snow, way more than, than I'm used to for this time of year here. Anyway, where I grew up in Labrador, we can get this much snow in an afternoon. But for where I am, we don't get a lot of snow. It's really dry here and it's so cold. So there's uh, not a lot, a lot of opportunity for, uh, for snow to fall just because of the climate here. So. But I'm, I'm happy, I love it. And the trails were nice coming in. And so I am I feel like I'm set, I think this is it. I'm gonna be coming in and out on my snowmobile now throughout the winter.
Nice fat cheeseburger with extra old cheese and a side of potato chips. Mmm. Wow. Yes. Mmm. I feel like I could eat about five of these right now. Mmm. For any of you that watch my channel, you may have noticed that I'm wearing my old parka. And uh, I've worn this on my channel many, 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 many times. And uh, it's about seven or eight years old now. It was a gift from my mother for Christmas back in like 2015, I think. And uh, yeah, so last year I decided to go to this homemade uh, style of parka. It's called a Skookum brand parka, made in Dawson. Um, Yukon and uh, that parka was too big it was just too big for me so I sold it it was a big green parka and it was beautiful and I sold it and I uh, got the majority of my money back and so when she made it for me she said the I she asked me what I want I said I want a large because I'm gonna be wearing sweaters and whatnot underneath of it and she said it's big a large is very big and so I said, ah, it's good. So then when it showed up, I was like, eek, she's right. So anyway, I sold it and then I ordered another one. And it's like um, a three to four month wait for one of these things. They're in high demand. I mean, they're, they're handmade, they're beautiful, right? And they've got ventilation in the armpits. They've got pockets everywhere. They've got reflective material everywhere. They're pullover style, which I really, really love. So. You're going to see a new one coming to the channel and it's going to be all black. I decided just to go with all black. Um, so yeah, if any of you were watching this video and wondering why you were seeing the old parka and wondering if this was just an old video that I was repurposing for this year. No, that's not the case. The green one is gone. The old one is back for now and the new one should be here in my next, in my next video. So I'm really looking forward to showing you guys that. Uh, I paid for it and uh, they're not cheap, but they are worth it. And I just love supporting, you know, this woman who's over there with a the small business who's trying to make a go of it. And so, uh, yeah, that's the story of, of my old parka today in case any of you who watch my channel were wondering.
this. Amazing. It's hot. Woo. After cutting all that wood, this is exactly what I want. The snow is really coming down out there now, which is wonderful. The more the merrier, I say. And it's just a beautiful thing to see. I love watching snow, especially at night. Okay, I'm gonna try. Mmm. Huh. What do you guys like on your pizza? I like a classic pepperoni salami, old cheddar cheese pizza. I just used spaghetti sauce tonight. It was like a four cheese spaghetti sauce and I love extra sauce. When I order a pizza, extra sauce every single time, no matter where I order it from, because I feel like the sauce is what makes the pizza. Because toppings are, are toppings, right? But if you order a pizza from a restaurant, and you ask for extra sauce and you taste their sauce, you'll know if they make a good pizza. Salami, pepperoni, sometimes olives. I'll even eat pineapple on pizza. I love pineapple on pizza, actually. And uh, chicken, bring it on. Like, I could eat a fully loaded pizza, hamburger meat on top of that, some uh, mushrooms, maybe some, definitely some sausage. Oh, man, that would be good, too. But this is just a classic. You cannot beat a classic pizza like this. Anyway, I'd love to hear from you guys.
Got it. I like really small splits for starting a fire. So the one good thing about this is it reduces the risk of cutting myself. It's also fun. I just have a four pound sledgehammer here and uh, it works really well. It'll cut right through, right here on this, this edge. It's not super sharp, but sharp enough for what I'm doing. And uh, I got a nice bag of splits there. So when I come back next time, I am good to go. Pillow ready, my bed ready, my sleeping bag is good to go. Normally, I like to check the bed to make sure there's no critters inside there, and there's not. And that's it. It's almost midnight. And I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. fantastic sleep last night like amazing sleep I woke up at 6 and put more wood on the stove and it didn't need it but I did it anyways I mean it needed it it had been burning for six hours it did a really good job when the temperatures outside are like this a stove can last a really long time so I was uh, I was just sleeping hard all night, and then I I slept pretty hard this morning too. Like it's it's 9 a.m. and I it's almost like this place is like a sedative for me sometimes when I sleep here. It's just it just knocks me out. You, those wool pants you see me wearing, I actually ordered another pair, but green. 
uh, more like a uh, an army green and uh, so I'm gonna have two pairs of wool pants that I'm just gonna cycle through all winter long and I've got these two sets of, of long underwear and uh, and yeah I and I've got suspenders I got the suspenders holding up the wool pants and that is just comfort beyond belief I didn't even realize how comfortable that could be and the pants are a bit big for me but then the suspenders bring them right nice and high on my waist like I'm an old man and, and the comfort is unreal and it's just so soft and it's just because of these long underwear being soft and the uh, yeah it's it's like I'm in a ventilated blanket all day long it's hard to explain but yeah so I'm sleeping I'm sleeping in wool and I'm uh, and I'm camping in wool and it's just like a big wool party and uh, I always have a wool sweater on now I do have a that hoodie that you guys see me wearing it's not easy to find a wool hoodie to go underneath of my big wool sweaters because I do like to have a hoodie underneath so I'd have this layer of wool another really small layer of merino wool on top of this so that's two layers then I have a fleece hoodie and fleece is decent fleece is a good winter material it doesn't breathe like wool but it's not I mean, it doesn't it doesn't but it's good it's better than cotton for sure um, because cotton once that gets wet it'll stay wet until you dry it off or if you get cold it'll freeze and turn to ice wool does not do that it just doesn't do it and and uh, and fleece kind of has that ability to not to the same extent but it is better than cotton for sure when it comes to getting wet and freezing like cotton is like it it's a material that will kill you so for all of you that are thinking about doing this and camping and going out in the winter do your best to find some comfortable wool and uh and, and at the very least fleece but cotton is not a good idea if you get cold and cotton and you don't have a way to warm up you're going to be in trouble The ice is thick, but it's not nice ice. It's not that really nice black stuff that you want. Uh, and that's because we had so much snow early on. Like right away we got snow, and then the ice started to form with the snow in it. There's lots of oxygen in this ice. So if there was no snow and just really frigid temperatures, the ice would be nice and uh, dense, and it would be, it would be almost black. Uh, but this is fine just because I know that it's really thick. It's just it just tells me that the ice might not be that great this year. The ice is actually pretty darn nice down low. Nice and dark. That is easily eight inches. The guy who lives on this lake, he's been measuring it. And yesterday he has a drill bit that's six inches long uh, that he, he will drill into the ice. And not once did we hit water with that six inch drill. So the ice is, uh, is pretty solid. So I'm gonna be back really soon. I'm going to be bringing out my big sleeping bag and uh, and just setting myself up for the winter. More wood and whatever else I can think of that I need while I'm out here in order to just have a really nice uh, season. So yeah, the season has begun. 
It's early November and man, I feel so good about this. Like my early years coming out here, I wouldn't get out here until December, but now I'm just, I'm pushing it a bit. But as you saw there, the ice is plenty thick. And, uh, and so it has begun. And uh, now I'm just gonna go back into town. I'm gonna spend some time with my, uh, my lovely girlfriend. And uh, yeah, and I'm gonna put this video together that you guys are watching right now. And uh, it's just, it's just such a pleasure for me. Like you have no idea. The whole entire experience for me is a serious pleasure. So if you do want to support this channel and you do want to see more and you want to see the channel grow, you want to motivate me to get out and make more of these videos, there's things you can do. You can comment, you can like, you can share, all of those things. They really motivate me. And when I see, you know, this channel growing, I, I just, I think bigger and bigger and bigger and uh and it's all thanks to to the motivation that i get from you guys supporting this channel anyway thanks so much for watching i'll be back really soon